Today on Addicted to Gear, we're going to be playing the Flamma FS03 Delay. I normally like to use the pedals on my pedal board very sparingly. I don't like to overdo anything. And that's because I feel that effects work best when you use them as like the final seasoning on a really nice meal. You don't want to overdo any of it except when it comes to delay pedals. Delay pedals are kind of in a different category for me because I feel that I can use delay pedals to actually open up very creative ideas that I wouldn't normally stumble upon myself. The reason for that, I think, is because delay pedals really change the way you approach your playing, the feel, the timing, and you know, you can stumble on some really nice creative um, syncopated uh, phrases with uh, delay pedals and I feel that if the delay pedal does some stuff just a little bit differently it's actually even better because then you really open up some uh, some ideas that you normally would not have thought of otherwise well the Flama FS03 delay pedal is that type of a pedal it's actually unique enough to approach the idea of a digital delay just a little differently and mainly it's because of these two knobs that it has the tweak one and tweak two knob the rest of the knobs on the pedal are pretty much typical you have the mix you have the time you have the feedback but the tweak one and two is where this delay pedal stands apart because it uses these two knobs to tweak the delay sounds in a totally different way that you normally would not have thought of and it really makes the sounds quite unique so if you're looking for a very run-of-the-mill delay pedal this one might not be for you but if you're looking for something to open up some creative ideas and maybe just give you that edge over you know the sounds that everybody else is using then this pedal could be a great creative tool it does a couple of things differently as I mentioned the tweak knobs it also allows you to save the patches when you finally find the sound that you're looking for it has seven total banks that you can actually save settings in so you can recall them very quickly and you don't have to mess around with the knobs every single time when you're trying to actually play you already have the ability to quickly save them with this little save button that you have right in the middle and it's as simple as just dialing in your sound hitting the save button and you basically have your patch ready to go next time and if you you want to change that along the way you just have to tweak it again and hit the save button again and it overrides what you had there before very very simple uh, one of the other aspects that I like about this pedal is that it also has a built-in 80 second looper and that is in patch 7 and we're going to talk about that we're going to go through some of the sounds in just a minute but I just want to give you an idea of how this pedal works and what makes it different so the looper is an 80 second looper as I mentioned it doesn't allow you to loop without any effects it always is going to give you some delay effect uh, because it is after all a delay pedal but you can actually loop with the delay effect and really take things in a totally different direction which is really cool uh, beyond that you have the ability to have the uh, little switch here work as a tap tempo so if ever you need to just you know you don't want to bend over to, to change the knobs you're playing you can just tap the tempo here which is very convenient and you can also turn on and off the trails um, on this pedal so that you can you know if you switch off the pedal the trails will continue uh, if it's um, uh, if the if the trail is off then you, when you switch it off it will be a hard a hard stop so you have the ability to have the trails on or off which is really nice as well uh, other than that you obviously can go um, mono stereo um, and it's built very well so Flama as far as I know hasn't been around very long as a company but they've already put out quite a few pedals that I find extremely intriguing and so without further ado 
Let's put this pedal through its paces. I'm going to be playing my Strat single coils into the Flamma, and I'm going to be going into the clean channel of my Black Star uh, JJN20. Um, and I'm going to be just playing around with the settings with you and you can see what they all have to offer and exactly how much flexibility this pedal gives you. All right, so that's the clean tone on my guitar. We're gonna turn on the pedal now and start off going through a couple of patches that I saved before and then we'll tweak them as we go, okay? So the first setting on the pedal is the tape. So let's hear what that sounds like. As you can see, there's a slight modulation. That is actually tweak number two. So we're going to turn that down. So if I strum a chord, you can see that it it basically sounds like a tape, but if I turn up tweak two, you can see there's a warble in there, right? It starts to sound a little bit more. So tweak one is filtering, tweak two is modulation. As you can see, if I turn it up, it really darkens it up. And if I turn it to the left, very nice. Okay, let's go to number two. So number two is called liquid and it has a little bit of a step phaser effect on it. Uh, you can hear it if I play some. So, uh, tweak number one is the rate. And number two is the mix. And anything above 12 really starts getting a little bit like spacey. I'll turn all the way up so you can hear all those overtones. If I just strum something and if I turn that down, changes it quite a bit. So you can get some really interesting sounds out of the thing. Now let's go to number three here. Number three is called Rainbow. So as you can see, it steps up or down depending on how you have the tweak knobs. And obviously, if we take the tweak down a little bit, we can also bring it down. So you can either, either go up or down on the tones depending on how you use tweak knob number two. And um, so 
So basically tweak one is rate, tweak two in this particular case is pitch. So playing around with both of those will give you some pretty far out effects. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun for sure let's go to number four this is called galaxy and this is a little bit of a slow uh, gear effect <laughs> from the modulation. So you can get a lot of crazy effects out of this pedal just by playing with tweak one and tweak two. And the other uh, knobs here are basically straight delay type of knobs that you would get, you know, your time, your feedback and, and whatnot. the time a little bit on this one here let's bring it up a little bit quicker And of course, if we play with the other knobs. All right, let's go to the next one. Number five here is, uh, it's a mod, a modulation verse. And this one gives you like a modulated effect and almost sounds like you're playing in reverse. So let me just strum something and stop it right away. And let's play with the tweak knobs here. So I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a swirly effect that I really like. Let's take the tweak two almost all the way down and let's put it at about. So you can get some really nice ethereal type sounds. Um, again, you know, the, the time on this is not necessarily adjusted to any specific point. I'm just playing around with the sounds at this point. Pretty interesting. So you can hear how it sounds like it's almost in reverse. Very interesting sounds. Let's go to number six. This is called low bit and uh, let's hear what it sounds like. So the first knob looks like it's a, it sounds like it's a slow gear to me. And the second one is you, uh, what you can use to tweak the, um, 
the reduction or I guess the low bit how how much of a um, deterioration in the low bit sound you have now if you see I turn it up past 12 it starts getting noisy All right, and then uh, what we have on number seven is basically a looper. So you have an 80 second looper here. All right, guys, so once you're ready to loop, all you have to do is hit the little start button here and you're ready to go. You have 80 seconds of loop time. You just have to remember to make sure that your delay is set the way you want it to be. Otherwise, you're not gonna have any clean loop. There's always gonna be some delay effect in the loop. So let's start off with something random. So you get the idea, and uh, I'm not a master at looping, but you get the idea of how easy this pedal is to use. The other cool feature of this pedal is that once you have your settings the way you want them to be, say we're on the first uh, effect here. You can just simply hit the save button and then it's saved. So if you go to the, you know, any other of the other patches and you go back to the first one, you have it saved there. So essentially you have the ability to save your favorite patches. And I think that's super sweet for a pedal of this price point to have features like that. So you guys know how I love unique pedals. I love companies that do things differently. I love value for the money and this pedal really is all of that not very expensive it's made in china but it's built very well i can see that the sounds are top notch and you have a lot of flexibility at your fingertips with this pedal so in my opinion definitely worthwhile picking one of these delay pedals up especially if you have maybe a couple of standard analog or digital delays that just do run-of-the-mill type stuff and you're looking for something just a little bit different check out the flama fs03